Hey guys, it's Kelly. Today I'm making a video because I want to talk to Jesse about Jesse's um Twitter video he did last night. Now it was in reply to this guy. I'm gonna read this guy's tweets and then we'll play Jesse's Twitter video. If you go on to um go on Jesse's page or go on to tweets and replies, you'll see it. This is from Demigod Opta at sub to Optimus. That's his ad on Twitter. Not to mention the fact that the amount of the amount suspiciously adds up to just about the amount of blaze that the creator of the platform a drug and has earned through the platform. It doesn't hundred percent mean anything, but it is suspicious as hell for sure. Now he does have three million plays, which what gets me, how could he get it? Because yes, you know, the fans can give him blaze, but come on. Do you really think of all the fans that can add up to three million blaze? I don't know, that is a little iffy to me. I mean I guess it is possible the amount I mean it depends you know, the amount of fans, you have to remember on Storyfire, he has like, what, 200k subscribers? He doesn't have as much as YouTube, so, I mean, it depends how much Blaze someone gives him. But, I don't know, it does seem like a lot of Blaze, 3 million. But, I guess, I mean, over 4 years, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't know maybe it's something. Um, I guess this is a whole thread. You guys can check out the whole thread. Um... Then he put, why would this random giveaway total nearly the full amount of Blaze that... The creator of the website has made off the platform, especially considering this Blaze cash out feature is supposed to be still in the pipeline somewhere. Does this suggest that it just isn't coming? I mean, in the, in the video, he did discuss that that's one thing Texture wants to do. I guess it's any day now, it can go through the transfer. transfer. Um, apparently, that's one of the things Texture wants to do with it. Apparently, Jesse was saying he has big plans for the app. But he does have a point, why would, and Jesse said that's all his blaze, the three million he was giving away. If that was gonna come out, why would he give away all his blaze? Cause I'm sure he'll get a decent amount, of three blades, that's probably a good amount of money right there, like you know it. Um, and depending how much like a blaze is worth, like if it's like five blazes worth a dollar, like every 10 blazes worth a dollar, I forget what it was. No, it's 500, right, that's worth a dollar. So think about it right there. Let's do that math right there. I believe it's like five dollars equals. Oh no, five hundred blaze equals dollars. So we're gonna do three million divide that, and then divide five hundred. I remember him saying that before. Why is it saying thirty divide five hundred? Three million. The stupid calculator. Three, one. Five hundred. Six thousand dollars right there that this dude has. He has six K right there. You know? So think about it. six thousand dollars. He's willing to give away that much? Come on. That's a little fishy to me right there. Like, look at me, the math don't lie there. I remember saying about like 500 blazes, like one dollar. I'm like 99% sure of that. So, anyways, then he also said there's a lot of unanswered questions and I guarantee we won't be getting answers. This website is dead, details are shady and shit looks just downright sad. I kind of agree with him. Like, it does kind of seem dead, like no one, like Jesse don't upload anymore, uh, Shallow reverse Josh. Remember these were, they were so big with Storyfire, they love Storyfire. They doesn't seem to do much on any more Swift or any of the Michael. So, anyway. And then another person, Master, so Master Urge 77, and Master, and Master Urge 77 put, I have a feeling Starfire is going to be one of those chapters in, in the history which one man's ego has to ruin everything. People should start their own YouTube alternative instead of simping to YouTube's increasingly strict rules. Yeah, reviews because they're afraid. I mean, rules are rules. I get YouTube, you know, it does have some strict rules, but it's really not that bad as people make it out to be. You know, and that's the point. There are plenty of apps. I made a video on this. There are plenty of apps that, um, that you can upload videos on. Instagram is one of them. They have, you know, you have the Instagram reels, and then you have Instagram TV, which you can upload what? Up to when I mean, you can stream up to an hour long. I don't know how long of videos you can upload on there. 
But I mean, that, you know, Instagram is one thing. And I remember reading about a month or two back whenever I made that video. It was about, I think, two, three months ago. Saying that they were thinking about bringing out monetization for Instagram. So, but, um, anyway, so I want to show you it. Well, there's a lot more, too, I guess, this guy thing. Um, you know, I just, I want to talk about what this guy said. So, the first tree out of all this, um, Twitter thread that's going on. So, I went and checked out Storyfire for the first time once. The training videos have 28 views, 8 views, and 4 views, respectively. Recent videos can be anywhere from 3 weeks to 3 years old. I don't even think this website is getting a 1,000 visits a day. Well, I remember, um, Druggy Ghost, hopefully, Druggy Ghost, I hope you don't mind me saying this. We were talking in our fan group chat, we have an Instagram. He said he doesn't even have Storyfire anymore. You know, which I don't blame him. I mean, think about it. Who who really post uses it much except like to post like Twitter? I'm, I'm, when I mean use it, I mean like upload videos on it. You know what I mean? And then he shows the picture of the videos. Then he put just just to compare. At one point, this website was bringing creators from YouTube on board daily, such as myself. Videos could regularly get thousands of views, and it was somewhere viable if you. If you dedicate enough time, it's a wasteland now. Then he put the three trending videos presented to me didn't even tally up to 500 views total. My YouTube channel, at least active period for the last 40 hours, 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern yesterday morning, at 4,300 views in one hour. It's generally sad to see how far it fell. I mean, honestly, I've been saying this for a while now. Jesse made some poor decisions with Starfire. I don't know why I'm doing thumbs up. I was like gonna count on my fingers things, but anyways, um, he did make some poor decisions. You can't deny that. You know, despite not having uploaded in six months and before that nearly fully year ago, I'm still ninth largest creator in the website's history. I probably will at least be in the top ten until the website's domain disconnects. I had ambitions of hitting hundred K but now that's over. Um, the ability to to cash out blaze the website's own currency was a feature promised by Grace to be coming um, in immediately last year. I've looked around the website from what I see the feature has never been implicated. I have over 350,000 blaze. I cannot cash out. So 350,000, let's do, let's do that math. Real quick. Three, Fifty-one, two, three, five, five hundred. 500 that's about 700 bucks right there so that's a good amount of money he has um jesse did say like they couldn't secure funding that's why that couldn't come out i'll show you guys the video after this place was largely given to me by my fans sometimes even purchased to support my content with the understanding that one day it would be re it would be redeemed for real money it still isn't the original so I own your soul story fire than I have to, so it probably never happened. Then he put a few portraits blades and gave it to me. Just for my content, I sincerely apologize to you. I wish I would have known this is how it would have gone, but your money is essentially sitting in a wallet on an account that can't be cashed for a site probably 50 people actively use. I mean, some of the things he says do have valid points to it, you have to admit. Based on some quick mental math from the purchasing price of blades on the website, 250,000 blazers worth roughly anywhere from 550 to 600 dollars that won't break the bank for me but that's money people spent giving to me that i can't actually redeem and that pisses me off for them from my understanding of this over three million dollars was invested in the store for to develop and promote it and it was sold instead of tea for around fifteen thousand dollars to an anonymous period not only does this not make sense as a business move it's downright pitiful the anonymous guys and the owners that is, like, think about it, though. Jesse, even he said in the video, too. He put $3 million in this place, and then he sold it for 15000 That does seem a little bit weird. Like, I know, I understand a lot of you love StoryFi. You think it's a great platform, but you gotta open your eyes, guys. You gotta really think about these things and admit it. That there are some things that just not adding up. And I'm glad someone like this here is finally, you know, taking the time to actually look into it and actually point some of this out. The Blaze Cash Out feature is promised forever ago in the last... Update about Blaze given by Storefire. Official account was this tree that could be for currency and less currency on their platform. So it's just a tree from Storefire. So McJugnug, it's just announced a like $3 million Blaze giveaway on Storefire if the company isn't transferred by the end of the week. Um, so I'll just, I guess, uh, 
This is what I was just reading. Like, this is his app name if you want to go look at the tweets for yourself. Or, like I said, it's go on Jesse's Twitter and you can click on it and see the thread. Now, let's go back and see Jesse's video. Optimus, great thoughts, great questions. You remember Optimus? I do. I, I, I remember during, like, last summer in the marketing push. Like, you don't have to really like, see it too much. You crushed it. You lit, listen. no. He literally took the word out. You, yeah. you killed it, man. We appreciate your support then. Um, it was super organic, and we, we appreciate that you loved the platform as much as we did. Um, to uh, co cover some of the things you talked about, so for one, I'm doing a 3 mil Blaze giveaway. It is all the Blaze that I've earned to date. Um, yes, you can't cash it out, uh, so, but, but I made a, a, a bet with the community on there. I was like, hopefully Storybird transfer. It wasn't transfer. even a so, bet. Yes. So. Uh, unfortunately, after the crazy marketing put... He, he said he made a bet. But it wasn't really a bet. He just said if it wasn't transferred by the end of the week, then he would give $3 million. So I don't know why he's saying he made a bet. I don't know where that's coming from. So, You know, we wanted Blaze Cash Out to be the next feature to come out. Um, we could not secure funding. We took mm -hmm. VC meetings with everybody around the block. Probably had 50 meetings. Um, none of them wanted to invest, uh, which was really unfortunate. Uh so see, that this, my point of the video is what he just said. He... Like, took around a bunch of meetings, what, 50, he said, and no one wanted to invest in this. That should tell you something like that. If no one wants to invest in it, either either look into it and figure out why and figure out try to fix it. And if it's not something you could fix, then just let it go. Because why do you want to do it? It's like, you know, Jesse putting $3 million to this platform over the last four years. Think about what he could have done with that money, though. Think about it. Like, honestly, he could have spent him, you know... He could use that to grow his channel and get to 10 million subscribers. Like, he could have done a lot of better stuff for that. I want to say StoryFire. I'm not trying to say StoryFire was a waste of money for Jesse. I'm just saying, like, you know, it I don't know. But let's just finish the video, guys. Um, then, then it got to the point where we could no longer finance the platform. So we had to shut down. Um, luckily, uh, I was able to get some funding in myself personally i had already put three mil in to date uh it was getting to be a lot just on my shoulders so it, we couldn't secure outside funding but i wanted to keep it going longer so you couldn't secure outside funding that should let you know i understand that jesse is something he worked hard with he, he was passionate about put a lot of money to it so he didn't want to go see that money go down the drain but i mean why do you want to keep platform going up you know no one wants to invest in I'm sure the companies they went to are big companies that have been around for years and stuff. So, like, think about it. If these big companies don't see potential in this app, that should give you a big clue right there. Maybe it's not the best route to go. Like I said, I made a video on other platforms for video uploading. There's plenty out there. There's plenty of apps for you can, can go and write stories on and stuff, you know? So, like, it's not the end of the world if it does just get shut down. I'm just saying, like, Jesse is making points he should have took and really thought about. I get it. It's something, you know, I would, if I was in his shoes, yes, I would want to do everything I could to keep it going. But if once I talk to investors, they don't want to do it, I would really have, have a long think about, is this still worth it? If these big companies, these big people I went to, would not invest in my thing, is it still worth it for me to try and continue to go with it? You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be mean about it either, guys. I don't want you guys to think I'm mean about and it. And sell off the platform and hopefully somebody could carry it. We wanted to do an NFT because we always envisioned Blaze as a cryptocurrency and hopefully this could get it in the right blockchain space, the right blockchain mm -hmm. company, whatever. And a deck chair purchased it. This anonymous bidder of the internet for 15 grand. I was pretty upset. I really wanted it to sell more naturally. Um, so why, why the platform isn't really performing to great lengths for the last six months is just we've still, Brian and I, we've been in the transfer process I over mean. the deck. I know you've been in a transfer process, but if it's still technically yours, I feel like you can still have done stuff for it while it was being transferred, you know what I mean? You didn't have to let it kind of die for these last couple of months, you know? You could have still been active on it, still uploaded videos, like, there's no reason for that, you know? Like, I love Jesse, I know he's working hard, he worked hard on his platform, but sometimes you gotta know when to just stop, you know? I don't know, like I said, I have no ill will to it store for there's a few more seconds left. The video's almost over. Let's just sure. Um, and we're probably like any day now. It'll mm -hmm. the platform will be deck chairs. Um, but deck chair has very big plans for the platform. I'm um, excited to. Oops. 
share with everyone what those are and get more into that. Um, but Blaze, like it should be rolling soon. Yeah, and Blaze Cash Out will be one of those features. So I'm, I'm giving away a lot of my Blaze, um, and everyone just hold on to that ish and, uh, you know, hopeful for potential future. But, yeah, man, appreciate all the concerns and hope you're doing well. But, yeah, okay, so that was Jesse's video. Deck chair apparently has big plans. The thing with that, though, you can say, but Jesse also, oops, sorry, guys. Jesse also had big plans for Storyfire 2, and look at how those went out. I don't know. The fact they only sold it for $15,000, like, is Deck Chair really good to keep this platform going? Like, I remember when Jesse first sold it, he said that Deck Chair can keep going for at least another five years, I believe it was. I don't know, just something sketchy about the whole thing. Like, you put $3 million into it, and you only accept it $15,000 for it. Like, come on, I would try at least to get half of what I put in, at least at least a million or two mil. Like, come on. You expect me to put in three mil of my own money, and then when you get back, pretty much like a penny of it. That's pretty much what it's equivalent to, like a penny. You know, I don't know. So just, just a lot of sketchy things. I love Jesse. I would always support Jesse, you know. But there's also, you can support someone, but you also got to, you know, be honest with them. You know, not just blindly follow them. You know, I get it. Storyfire is cool. And I think a lot of people also like it because of how YouTube's rules was, you know. And if you think about it, though, with Jesse, three million dollars, and he started Storyfire in 2017. That's when YouTube started to get stricter, right? 2017-ish. So think about it. If he had three million dollars over these last few years to put into this app, you know he'd still have to be making good money off YouTube. Because that's where he was primarily making all his money from. So think about that for a second, guys. You want to bash on YouTube? But if Jesse was able these last few years to put in $3 million, think about that. Think about that. Yeah, be doing good off YouTube. You know, that's the thing. You know, and Jesse always wanted to say, oh, how he was never making anything off YouTube or stuff like that. He was always complaining about that. But yeah, he was just saying how he was able to put in $3 million in your story fire. So tell me how that makes sense. Guys, you gotta just... I'm not trying to mean, mean to you, but you gotta just open your eyes now. Like, there are some things that don't make sense. Much as you like Storyfire, you gotta just, you know, not ignore these little issues. Ignore these things that don't make sense. You know? This guy, Rob Even. Ah, Rob Even. Sorry for much name, Mom. I'll believe it when I see it happening. Deck Chair has said nothing to the fans, and that's not how you run a business. Yeah, Deck Chair has a Twitter. I believe I follow him on Twitter and he has Storyfire. I haven't seen him post anything about Storyfire. On Storyfire about what he wants to do. So. And then Puggle Hall, this dude. Glad to see you respond to this. Also, good to hear that Jeff Jeff could be the owner any day now. Like, I like, like this dude, Puggle Hall. No offense, Puggle Hall, but you just ignore the issues too. Like, you know, that people are brought up. You're just like, oh, I'm so happy. And Like, I get it. Yes. But I'd be happy. But... Come on, you even have to admit that there's some things that don't add up. Um, let's see. This dude, which I agree with, hashtag respect gram, local, rock talk 978. I hope I can upload videos without filling online apps every time I want my videos on Storyfire. But yeah, it's weird that um, Jack Chair hasn't really been active on any of his socials talking about like what's going to be happening on the platform and this name deck chair like like what business person because obviously if you're buying an app you have to be some sort of business dude would go by the name deck chair you know what i mean like think about that too i know a lot of people think deck chair is jesse and it could be i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm not saying that it's not jesse i'm not saying I don't know what to believe. You know, that's the thing. I believe I'm following Deck Chair. Let's see if I can find him. I thought Deck Chair had a Twitter. Maybe not. But I know he has a Storyfire. And I, I check Storyfire every day to see, like, Jesse posts and stuff. And I don't even see posts from Deck Chair. Um, and also another thing about Storyfire, the other day I was having issues, like, I, every time I would go on the app, it was, I think, two, three days ago, it would say, follow people so you can see posts, like, no, no posts were popping up, you know, and then I try to upload something, it took me a few tries for it to finally upload, like, come on. Look, I have no ill will towards Jesse, towards Storyfire, um, but 
I just, I just can see the truth. I can, you know, not be biased, you know. Can be, what's the word? What's that word when you're not biased, you um. Neutral, I can be neutral. I can't think of the word, but neutral, no. Well, I can see both sides. And I can, you know, see the points and I can see the flaws. Like, I'm just not, I don't have rose colored glasses on. Like some people do, like Puggle Hall. No offense, Puggle Hall, I'm not hating on you, but when it comes to story fight, you kind of do, bro. You don't see the flaws, you don't see the issues, you don't see the contradictions. You just want to see the great in it, and that's okay. But you gotta admit when it does flaws and stuff, you know? Because how do you expect person, people to, you know, grow and learn if you just, you know, not try to guide them not try to help them you know like you know i don't know i love jesse i hope things work out but i'm just trying to be honest and after reading that guy's that guy saying oh, i wanted to look up that guy see like how many followers i see who's youtube channel you know um but anyways oh i also uploaded on instagram today um, on my Midragonites fan page, I did some more filters on Jesse, you know. Um, this dude, um, sub to Optimus, this dude, he is followed by Jesse, so he's a creator, I don't know. What does, one mil it says one time one million YouTuber go for. Oh, I think I know this dude, Optimus. He has 1.18 million subscribers. Optimus. Right there. So, yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree with this guy and what I was saying? Do you agree there's some things that just don't add up? That's or like some contradictions or things that don't make sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, your opinions. I really want to know, but I'm going to go now. <laughs> Anyways, follow me on my socials. Follow Con and Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rich May Hashtag AGP. Subscribe to Juggy Go. Subscribe to Always Unscrewed Juggy. Subscribe to Dan. Subscribe to Jacob. Subscribe to Colin. Also, guys, I may, or may not be uploading um, a video of those filters I did on Jesse like I did last time. I may, I don't know yet, um, but yeah, anyway, guys, please subscribe to me, please like, and please comment, because it will mean the world to me, because, you know, I love doing this, guys, you know, it's one of my favorite things to do, and I want to continue to grow, so please go ahead and do that, and turn on post notifications, I love you, Randomers, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.